What is going on? My name is Abu and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how U tag works in HTML and how to use it properly. Before you decide to mark up your text content using U tag, you need to answer this question. Do you have spelling mistake in your text content? If yes, then you can use U tag to mark up the text content which has a spelling mistake. Now, let's write some code and learn how to use U tag properly. Here I open up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code. On line 17, I have a sentence and it's saying that there's someone at the door and there's one spelling mistake in the sentence and that is one O missing on the word door. So let's mark up this word using U tag. The opening U tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, U and right angle bracket. And a closing U tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, U and right angle bracket. On line 18, I have another sentence and it's saying that there are many apples on the tree. And there's also one spelling mistake in the sentence. And that is one P missing on the word apples. So let's mark up this word using U tag. Opening U tag here and closing U tag here. Now I'm going to save this and let's try this up in the browser and see how they look. Okay, it worked. As you can see, all the words I marked up using U tag are now rendered with an underline. That is how browsers render text content marked up with U tag. But it doesn't mean you can use U tag when you only want to make your text underlined. Use CSS styling if you only want to make underlined text. Now, if you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.